Hi, I'm Matthew, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Matthew. And on today's exciting episode, we've powered up this Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, no, not yet. Get off my show. No, no, we haven't done that yet. Let's use a time soon. We'll set things right. I need a box. I go by the shipping store. I'm trying to find something about the right size. A uh, lady behind the counter says, oh, what's it for? I said, I need a box that's 26 by 7 by 7. Uh, do you have something like that? She starts looking through the computer. She says, um, what's it for? I said, I need a box that's, that's 26 by 7 by 7. She said, yeah, but, but what it's, what's it for? It's for Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. Her faces. She says, oh, you need a box that's 26 by 7 by 7. Yeah, I do. They don't have anything nearly the right size. Their bigger boxes are way too expensive to ship. I wish I could just snap my fingers and get it done. But I'm a little afraid of that. Too much power. So I have this gigantic box here that just showed up to the shop. I wonder what's inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, this is interesting. It smells of coke and... Yeah, that's definitely strippers. Ah, this must be from Monte. Something so massive and powerful. I must... I must find a power source that is worthy of this. Well, let's get started. So here is uh, the Infinity Gauntlet that Monte has sent so far to us. So we have our jewels or infinity gems, or infinity stones, uh, depending on which uh, continuity you you want to refer to. I guess we're gonna we're gonna stick with the film. He's put these uh, servo extension leads here. Now I've taped them. I've, I've put a little tape on the end because I need to label them uh, because they're not conveniently labeled. So I've got our Arduino Uno. Uh, well, it's a clone, but whatever. Um, Got the Arduino running the, the just the standard blink, and I have it set to pin 11 as our output. I'm just going to note each pin uh, as I figure out which one it is. So this one is, this is hand, and I believe black is always going to be ground, so we'll just say that's hand. Uh, that's the thumb. That would be the middle finger, pointer finger, uh, that is the ring finger. Pondering what I'm pondering, Pinky. I think so, Brain. Oh, we're gonna get a spaceship this time of night. How are we ever gonna fit in the men's briefs? Oh. My sincerest apologies to, to Rob. Uh, so, we know what each one is now. Uh, we need to write a little code and get the uh, get our, our lights blinking the way we want them to. Build your own atom storage box. Oh, that's the problem. Since they're ganged up, how many grounds do we have? We got one, two, three grounds. I need four. So I actually need to solder. So I gotta do a little bit of ganging here. I need three, actually I need four grounds and I only have one, two, three grounds on the Arduino. So I'm gonna have to do a little combining here. So I've got this little, uh, this little scrap of proto board and there's enough copper on there that I can, I should be able to just uh, put uh, three of these together with a fourth going out, and call it a day. Life has been such a busy thing With everyone telling me What 
I used to pretend that I didn't wear a microphone. And it was just like, oh no, there's a microphone there. Whatever. I don't know, like, whatever. It's a microphone. Tool of the trade. Of course, you know, when I was coming along, it was, you know, hide the microphone. Hide the microphone. That was, that was standard procedure in production was hiding the microphones. I remember watching Julius Sumner Miller and he had that humongous mic pack. That dang thing could have been the same mic pack that he started with in the 60s. It might have been the same mic pack that he started with in the 60s. It was this humongous like thing that just hung off of his shirt and like pulled his shirt down. It was bizarre. That was a dude who had zero left to give. I can tell you that. Smart as a whip. He was a great science communicator, but he knew that his time was limited. There we go. Got those four ganged up. the Infinity Gauntlet wired. All of the stones are wired into the Arduino. So let's give this a shot. We're lighting up, we're doing our sequence, everything's correct. And I actually had a couple of things uh, wired in uh, backwards, so I've adjusted that in the code. Um, so now everything is set. So the next thing we need to do is uh, basically program all of our different uh, light up display sequences. Uh, we'll get some power running to this guy, some independent power running to this guy, and I think we'll be in business. This then electrically, this will be done. So just a quick run through of the code here. Uh, we're just gonna define a bunch of pins like we did in our little test, uh, a little test sketch. The pin mode is output. And down here, we just have our little loop and all it does generates a random number. And then based on that random number, it runs a different function for whatever uh, light sequence uh, we have programmed in here. So we have, you know, lights fading from left to right, lights fading from right to left, pulse all, you know, woo, 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 woo. And then we have the movie order, which is the actual order that he like puts the stones into the gauntlet in, uh, in the first Avengers uh, Infinity War movie. And then my personal favorite, the chase, which kind of looks like a little pinball machine, but you know, that's that. So that's really it. I, you know, the code is a little dirty. It's a little messy. I could probably clean it up with some loops, um, but eh, you know, it, it's quick, it's dirty. It's kind of what I do. Um, I am not a software engineer by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, bodging code together is sort of my thing. So this is all botched together. I actually put it together in like an afternoon at work um, uh, because it was slow. Uh, but anyway, so there's that. Let's, uh, let's put this onto the little Arduino guy and we'll get this thing finished. Welcome to the world of MCA DiscoVision. To begin playback of a disc, turn the player power on, place the disc on the spindle. Use the play button to start. vision that you be the boss. Now I'd like to show you some of the valuable things your MCA Discovision system lets you do. Most persons find it more convenient. Gently pull up as you press down on the center shaft with your thumb. 
Okay, now I just need to tighten this thing down, but I, I... Where's my wrench? Oh, I know! Oh, hi, Monte! Oh, hi, Matt! Uh, can I borrow a wrench? Sure. Thanks. Oh, where am I? Oh, you're at my shop in Anaheim. Anaheim? Anaheim. Hey, can we go to... So here it is, Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet, recreated in glorious uh, polyvinyl. But anyway, that was a fun little project. Um, only couple of things I would add to this would be maybe um, maybe some sound to go with the lights and possibly a like a PIR sensor to trigger the whole thing when it comes on. We were working on that, but really just kind of ran out of time for it. But Anyway, this has been a fun little side project. I want to thank Monte for sharing this project with me, and uh, go check out his channel, Coke and Strippers. Uh, it's a lot more uh, fun, goofy projects around the shop, uh, kind of like what you see here. Lots of good times, lots of fun over there. And in the meantime, you got social media over here. Subscribe down here. Here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy, and down here is a newsletter. So uh, sign up for that and get notified on all the cool things happening around the shop. My name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all. <laughs>